to my first vlog of 2021. Um, first vlog in a while. Thought today would be a really good day to start. Um, trying to get myself out of a little bit of like a COVID bored at home rut. Um, so I'll bring you along, we'll see how that goes. My first stop is Soul Cycle. I haven't been in weeks, I haven't worked out in weeks, I have not done anything to get endorphins flowing, moving, and I literally am like embarrassed. I don't even like I don't even know how long. Um so I'm back at Soul Cycle. They're doing an outdoor tent, socially distanced. Um I haven't done it yet out in this tent formation <laughs> um so we'll see how that goes i'm running a little bit late so i will check in with you after um all sweaty and cute and whatnot but yeah just wanted to say good morning and welcome to vlog <laughs> okay What is that they say that like taking your mask off in the car is the new taking your bra off when you get home from work or something? I don't know, whatever it is. I feel that. Um, that class was really good. I didn't know like how much better I was gonna feel, but um, I feel like it actually helps, so. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I think if I was at like a zero out of five stars on the mental health scale, um, I'm probably at like a two now, so I think we can we can get there. <laughs> um, I saw like four or five people I knew right when I walked in, so that was really great. I just like miss seeing familiar faces. I miss seeing any faces. I miss speaking to people. Um, so that was all good. And I truly think it's been like Thanksgiving since the last time I worked out, which is probably a record for me. I mean, I go for walks every day, but to not do like a class or a run or <laughs> anything is really unusual. So yeah, I think I might try to go again tomorrow and just kind of ride this momentum. Yeah, I work at Lululemon, so I get them for free anyway, so the fact that I'm not even going is so stupid, but ah, what are you gonna do? Um, speaking of Lululemon, I think I'm going to go to the one that's near here um, and just poke around, and then after that, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries, get some healthy food, um, Maybe I'll cook something interesting this afternoon for lunch or for dinner. That always is kind of, I don't know. I, there's also this like thing on TikTok that's like, what do you do when you're sad? And people are like, I go to Trader Joe's. So that's not a lie. I really do like Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, the people there are so friendly. Um, so yeah, maybe that will help. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm willing to try anything. Um, so we're gonna go to Blue Lemon. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Um, I do need to go to Michael's to get one thing and I think that's it. I have a call around 1.30 so I can't dilly dally. Alright, let's go. I didn't vlog in Trader Joe's 
because I forgot, um, but I thought I would do a little Trader Joe's haul because I love seeing what other people get. There's just so many things in there that sometimes it's good to have a little recommendation, so I will do that. Okay, I kind of got a lot of stuff, but I will try to make this as quick as possible. Let's see. So frozen things first. I got some of the rice cauliflower stir fry. These are really good, um, really healthy, nice easy dinner. Bunch of bananas. I like to have some extra for smoothies and things. Um, some of the frozen mixed bell peppers. Some organic mango and pineapple. Again, really good for smoothies. Um, some of the frozen sort of dinners. Lewis requested that. <laughs> um, some gluten-free pretzel twists. Some of these everything but the bagel. Um, chips i haven't tried these before but the guy who was ringing me up said they were really good especially if you like the seasoning which of course who doesn't and then these are also really good some organic elote corn chip things okay then over here we have more um this is more like pantry kind of stuff we have some brown rice pasta this is really good i'm doing weight watchers actually i'll talk more about that later um, and this pasta is actually zero points, which is great because it tastes like normal pasta, but it is better for you. Some chocolate chips, um, just a spare can of chickpeas. I'm always cooking with those. I decided I would try this masala simmer sauce. It looked really good. Not sure what I'll do with that yet, but we'll figure it out. Some orzo, some gnocchi. This is for tonight's dinner, actually. Um, who remembers when this stuff was so hard to find during lockdown because everyone was baking bread? Um, I do, so <laughs> I bought this just in case we feel in the mood to make bread again. Why not? I got some hemp hearts. Sorry, the lighting. I got some hemp hearts, again, for smoothies. Um, some potatoes. Lewis really likes these dried mangoes. I've got two of those. Um, some of this stuff. Um, kind of like healthier orzo. Again, this is zero points on Weight Watchers, so <laughs> I thought I would try it. I always like to have that feeling like I'm having pasta, even if it's not. <laughs> um, some chocolate chip dunkers. Some of these taco shells. Coconut crispy rolls. These are really good. We used to eat these all the time in Thailand. Um, and I tried these before. They taste exactly the same as they did in Thailand. So that's just kind of fun. Some crackers. Um, over here we have some more of like the vegetables and things. I eat these like in one sitting. They're so good. Cucumbers, peppers, lemons, some meat. Um, this is for tonight's dinner. Chicken. This is for tonight's dinner. Um, and just some more vegetables. I like to add this to smoothies. Um, so I'm really just doing a big smoothie restock. I don't know if you noticed, but I pretty much finished all of my smoothie ingredients this morning. Um, and then finally just some Greek yogurt, the plain flavor, um, and the vanilla flavor. And that is everything. Please excuse my kitchen. Um, try to keep it as clean as possible, but it's not easy. Um, I'm still in my soul cycle clothes, so I'm going to put this stuff away and then go and take a shower um, and eat some lunch because I'm really hungry, which explains probably why I bought so much. You probably shouldn't go to Trader Joe's on an empty stomach, um, but life happens. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh beer. Okay. Is that good? I don't know. No, it's not. It's That will have to do. Um, all right, we are back. Um, I'm taking a shower, blue drying my hair. It's 3.15. I'm going to add another layer of paint on this little map coaster that I have been working on. Someone purchased this. Um, I make these. Hit me up if you want to buy one. Um, 
So I'm gonna add another layer on that because I need to finish that. Um, and then I think I might go for a little walk around the plaza. And oh, I can show you why I need these purple strings from Michaels. But I am working on this needlepoint canvas of my dog, Fig. Um, and the purple is like the background. And I ran out. Today, we've gone to Soul Cycle. <laughs> we have um, gone to Trader Joe's, talked to the nice people at Trader Joe's. That's two really good things. Um, we're gonna go outside one more time, at least one more time, and go for a walk. We're gonna cook a really nice dinner. I have a recipe picked out from Blue Apron. I have all the stuff because I got it at Trader Joe's. Um, so that'll be good. Yeah, so that's my journey to getting myself out of this rut today. Thank you for being part of it. Um, and we still, we still have some ways to go, so. All right, <laughs> we are leaving the house. Um, I'm really gonna have to work on having my my lighting and house be like cuter um, I try my best but it just gets so dirty when you are living in here all the time but I wanted to show you my outfit it's not that exciting but it does involve three things that are on my favorite purchases of 2020 blog post and I hold by that um, the first is these um, Aritzia puffer coat this is the shorty version I am obsessed it is so warm and so comfortable and I just love everything about it um, so that's the first thing the second thing are these Nike sweatpants I have three pairs of these and I've made like three of my friends at least purchase them um, they're just so comfortable I'm obsessed with them um, and then finally my Nike Air Max 270s um, this is my second pair of them as well, and I also have influenced a few of my friends to buy them, and they love theirs too. Um, and then finally my, this is not on the list, but probably will be on my favorite purchase of 2021, are my Lululemon crew socks. Oop, they're like rolled down, but you get the idea. Um, this is like my go-to fit these days when we're not really going anywhere. <laughs> but as you do um all right we're gonna go get some fresh air get that blood pumping keep trying on our journey to cheer up also that is the washing machine so chances are you can probably hear that i'm sorry we'll we'll get the hang of this it'll things will get better um all right without further ado let's go up <laughs> um i just got back from my little walk i was in the bookstore for a while didn't end up getting anything i feel like i need to go to a bigger bookstore because i've lived by that one for so long and it's like an amazon bookstore so they don't have that many things um and i've read many of the books there already not all of them but many of them so I don't know, they just didn't have anything that I hadn't already looked at. Just got back, I'm gonna switch my laundry over. Just had a little snack of an apple, I'm making some tea right now. Um, and I think I'm going to see if, uh, I think I'm going to maybe FaceTime a friend. See if that works out. Um, and maybe do a little bit of cleaning up. It's about 4.30, um, and then I'm gonna cook dinner in a little bit, so. I just FaceTimed my friend James for a while. Um, he always makes me laugh, so 
it's good to catch up with him and now I'm going to start cooking dinner I am going to be cooking one of my blue apron recipes um, the spicy beef and yoki with zucchini and parmesan I used to do blue apron where like they had actually Louis and I did Blue Apron for a while where they would send you the box and like we were signed up for it whenever. But we don't do it anymore. But I kept all the cards so um, we can always remake like our favorite recipes. So I actually meant to buy the ingredients for this other one that's really similar except for it has cauliflower but I got them confused. So. I'm gonna follow this spicy beef one and just maybe make a few modifications to make it taste a little bit more like this one. But yeah, I thought I would bring you along. Um, I keep looking at the viewfinder and not the lens, so that's gonna be something I need to get better at, but this is about learning, so we're good. This vlog is all about getting out of my rut and feeling better. Um, so I'm gonna have some wine because that's self care, right? Um, this vlog was also about being healthy. I mean, one glass. I am a rose all year round head gal. So, a little cooking glass of wine. Why the heck not? Cheers. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hello. You're still here. Join me as I cook dinner and drink wine. I'm trying to think of some other things that I will be talking about, vlogging about. Um, I know I have some boxes coming, so I can definitely do an unboxing haul. Um, I think they might be coming like this weekend, so that would be good. I kind of want to do like a Lululemon collection or like my Lululemon recommendations um, because I obviously have a lot of knowledge about that and my collection has gone from like mid-level to very big um, since working there. <laughs> so I think that would be good um, and like Lululemon tips. And tricks. I know that's on. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Um, and then I don't know. We'll we'll just have to think of things, won't we? All right. So the first part is complete. We have browned the zucchini. Look at these bad babies. Yeah. So this. All right, here is the finished product with the gnocchis in. Dinner was pretty good, but I'd be lying if I said the one that I meant to cook was better, so. That was the spicy tomato gnocchi, not the spicy beef gnocchi. So if you're on Blue Apron, that's the one to look out for. I'm gonna do a little tidying up in my room. And then I think Lewis will be back soon and probably go for a little walk, maybe watch some TV, and yeah. Alright, we're gonna end the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. I would say overall made some moves in the right direction to get out of my rut. Um, I think it's gonna be work in progress, but definitely going to Soul Cycle helped. I can't believe it's taken me this long to kind of just get over there <laughs> and do something about it. Um, but it really did put me in a better mood and like seeing some of my friends that work there and FaceTiming my friends um, as much as I was procrastinating doing that like it, it really did help and I am gonna go back to soul cycle tomorrow and just keep working out keep doing things so stay tuned I'll be doing 
some more day in my life or week in my life vlogs and um, let me know what you want to see more of what I can do better just leave me a note in the comments and you can always hit subscribe and like thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one